When the City of Portland created the Interstate Corridor Urban Renewal Area in 2000, areas north of Lombard Street were included, while areas south were not. Lombard Street is literally the dividing line between those who can use urban renewal funding and those who cannot. As a result, businesses and property owners on the south side of Lombard can't access grants and loans for building improvements, business expansion, and redevelopment. And there is demand for these products. When a small amount of general city funds was made available for storefront improvements, nine businesses signed up on the south side of Lombard. The south side also has a few more vacant lots than the north side. In addition to business development, the surrounding neighborhoods have also been hoping for streetscape improvements to make Lombard safer for pedestrians. It's one of the key recommendations of the St. John's Lombard Neighborhood Plan. Urban renewal is often a good way to pay for projects like this, but it's not possible when only half of the street is eligible. The Lombard study area, about 28 acres in size, includes all of the properties along the south side of Lombard Street between Columbia Park and the railroad cut. For the most part, the study area is just a half block deep, but extends slightly further wherever the commercial and medium density residential zoning does. Further out on Lombard is St. John's. Originally a separate city until 1915, St. John's retains a small town feel with a funky collection of businesses old and new. Patty's Home Plate Cafe has been serving diner fare since the 1950s. Just down the street, Ladybug Coffee is a newer addition, bringing organic coffee and desserts to the mix. Santa Cruz Taqueria and Mexican Bakery is another neighborhood favorite, serving an established Latino community and attracting foodies from all over the city. Demand for PDC's grants and loans has been very strong in St. John's, but urban renewal is not available here, so PDC can only channel a small amount of general funds and federal funds when they are available. Many opportunities remain, from empty storefronts to vacant lots. In the heart of St. John's is this city-owned vacant lot, previously a contaminated gas station, now cleaned up and available for development. At the east end of the town center along Lombard, entire blocks are vacant. Most of them were car lots during the golden age of the automobile, but those businesses have either downsized, closed, or moved to more suburban locations. Today, these vacant lots with their billboards, weeds, and abandoned buildings serve as an unfortunate gateway to St. John's town center, something residents and business owners would like to change. The St. John's study area, about 84 acres, includes the commercially zoned areas in the town center, as well as the Lombard Street corridor that would connect it to the existing interstate corridor URA.